Okay, today we're going to talk about how to solve questions that have which equation has a solution of k equals 6.5. So we already know what k equals. What we have to do is plug in for k in each of these equations and then see which one is essentially true. So in this one, when we have a number and a variable right next to each other, we've already talked about that that means to multiply. When there's a number and the variable, we multiply. So that means when I have negative three, my k equals 6.5. So I plug that in, but that doesn't mean it's 36.5. We have to put parentheses around that. And again, that just means to multiply. And then we have to see what that equals. So over here, I'm gonna do 6.5 times three, three times five is 15, three times six is 18, plus one is 19. I have one decimal, okay? So it's 19.5, but I have a negative and a positive. I'm multiplying, so I need to do integer man. I have a negative, mark that out, and a positive, mark that out, so what I'm left is a negative. So that's negative 19.5 but our answer has positive, so that one cannot be correct, okay? On this next one, it's negative one plus k, again, k is 6.5, so this is a negative, this is a positive, different signs you subtract, so I don't even have to do that because if I subtract, my answer is gonna get smaller than 6.5, I would have to add to get to 7.5, so that's not correct. This one down here is just like number one. We do, when we have a number and a variable next to each other, we have to multiply. So this is really negative seven, plug in your 6.5. Again, you need to put parentheses around there because that means to multiply. So 6.5 times seven, seven times five is 35, seven times six is 42 plus three, 43, 44, 45, okay. I have one decimal, so that equals 45.5. Negative and a positive, I'm multiplying, so I use integer man. So I have a negative and a positive. What's left is a negative, and that is what it's supposed to be, so H is our answer. To double check, we can look at this one. This is negative two plus K, which is 6.5. Again, this is a negative, this is a positive. We would be subtracting, so our answer would get smaller. This is not gonna be correct. Okay, the next type of question you are going to see is with an actual model. So in this question, it says, which model shows two equal expressions when the value of X is four? So is means equal. So when x is four, that just means x equals four. So anywhere that we see an x, we are going to write instead of four. So that's four, go through, and you can go ahead and label all of your boxes because it said x is four, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So now we can go through and look at our different expressions. So. If I have four, 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 I'm just gonna add these all up and see what is over here. Cause we're trying to see what equals over here. So four plus four plus four plus four is the same as four times four. So that's 16. So I'm gonna rewrite it over here. I have 16 equals. So over here on this side, I have 16. And then it says that equals one, two, three, four. But does 16 equal four? No, so that's not gonna be our answer. Our next one is, again, four, four times, which you can add them up, or four times four is 16. This is one, 16 does not equal one. So no, that's not our answer either. Okay, so I have four plus one, so four plus one plus one, so four, five, six. So this is six over here, and then I have one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, one, two, three, four, five, six does not equal five. So that can't be our answer. Hopefully this last one works. So four plus four, so that's eight. Okay, so I have eight there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So I have eight. Eight does equal eight. Yay. So D would be our answer. So on this type of question, all you do is see what X equals, plug it in, add up your sides, and see which one is correct. The last one, we have a fraction instead. So again, you just need to plug in what you have. So this would be two-thirds minus one-third. Oh, sorry. Oop, nope. N is two thirds, so N is two thirds minus one equals one third. To do that, we would have to have a common denominator. So, and we really haven't talked about that, but one would really be three over three, which would not work. Essentially on this one, just remember when you have a number and a variable like this, next to each other, that means to multiply them. Put your number in parentheses. So we would set that up as 16 and then 2 thirds. So to multiply that, we would have to put 16 over 1 and then multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. And you would do the same for C.